We are outside here in this beautiful summer day with Alan Adams. He's a member of the Wheels of Yesteryear. And they're having a little bit of antique threshing going on tonight. No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're cutting wheat with a, with a grain binder. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. And he's just going to kind of explain to us how it works. The grain binder mm -hmm. is a preliminary of the uh, modern day combine. Right here. And it makes bundles. And this is a bundle. Mm -hmm. And you can see how the knot is on the bundle. Each bundle is tied with there. Okay. Uh, with the binder. It's a full automated process mm -hmm. and uh, it has a carrier on it. You can carry six or seven bundles and drop at a time. And uh, the old method was is when they mm -hmm. uh, uh, shocked it, why you would drop your bundles so that they came out in a row across the field. Uh -huh. And so that the crew, when they shocked it, they could pick up the bundles and keep going right on across. All right. So, and that was the reason for using the bundle carrier. Okay. Uh, now, can you explain to me a little bit over here what some of the specific parts of this equipment is? Okay. The uh, binder is pretty basic. Mm -hmm. You've got three drapers on it. You've got a lower draper and uh, an upper draper and a feed draper. Okay. Okay, the lower draper, the reel, uh, well, the, your knife cuts the wheat, your reel lays it down on the lower draper. Okay. The lower draper brings it into your feed draper. Mm -hmm. Your feed draper picks it up and your upper draper holds it together. All right. Okay. And you've got this flow of wheat that runs through the binder. And then you gather it here mm -hmm. with this set of springs. And you've got a, uh, a stacker on the other end that actually makes the end of your butt square. Okay. Um, uh, so your bundle is all even on oh, the end. Oh, that makes sense. And this here actually keeps the top in position. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a needle in underneath, same mm -hmm. principle as a modern day baler. Okay. And the needle comes up. Here's your twine. Mm -hmm. See, the oh, okay. twine is already in place. Okay. Okay, the twine is already feed. It brings your wheat against the front of the twine. Mm -hmm. Your needle is behind. The needle comes up here. And makes your twine tie right here. This little bill hook right here picks your twine up. Okay. And it makes that tie. Okay. And that's what gives your, uh, makes your bundle. Mm hmm And then these fingers here kick the bundle out on the bundle the... carrier, mm -hmm. and your process starts all over again. Okay. So now, basically, how many bundles could you do in, let's say, an hour's worth of time? Oh, in an hour. Mm hmm Oh. I could easier say that we've cut an acre and a half an hour. Okay, about an acre and a half an hour. Now, how yeah. would that compare nowadays to? Yeah, I don't. I don't know much about farming, but current equipment and whatnot. Oh, oh the big machines. Yeah. Oh lord. Um, the big machines are going to three to five acres an hour, maybe more on, okay. on the big tables. Okay. You know. So now, how old is this um, piece of equipment? I can't tell you exactly. I believe it's a pre-World War II. This is a 10-foot uh -huh. power takeoff driven machine. Mm -hmm. And uh, thus being, they uh, introduced these in the late 30s. 